is Erin. I'm back with another video. Today I'm doing a wash and go. And from the title you can tell I'm doing the shingling method. So I used to do the shingling method a very long time ago. Like when I first went natural. But I haven't done it in a long time. Because I'm really, 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 really lazy. <laughs> um, and so like I know. <clears throat> I know that for the shingling method to work best you have to do like very small sections and it takes a really long time so that's why i haven't done it in a very long time but today we're tackling the shingling method so i've already washed my hair deep conditioned overnight and everything uh, i washed my hair with the um shea moisture coconut and hibiscus line and so i'm going to use this as my moisturizer today i'm going to use wet line as my gel so without further ado let's get into the video so when I deep condition I do uh, twist up my hair to like deep condition in sections and um, to me the easiest way to do this is just kind of keep your twist in like rinse out your hair but once you rinse out your hair keep the twist in because it kind of makes the sectioning and everything easier so this is my first twist we're gonna tackle um, it's already moisturized because of the deep conditioner on here. Well, like I love some of it is still on there, which is fine. Some of the deep conditioner is still on there, which is fine. You can see that definition. I'm just gonna spray it just to make sure it's like really, really wet because I want it to be drenched in water. Honestly, because this section is so moisturized, I'm not going to put any of the curly hand tank smoothie on this section. Um, and I'm just gonna go right into the gel. So I'm just gonna break this down into an even smaller section so I can start the shingling process, which is going to take forever. So I'm starting at three o'clock, okay. Just wanna know how long it's gonna take. So I'm just going to take some wet line. Not that much, cause it's, that's a lot for this section. I watched Kimberly Sherelle's tutorial on this and she was like, you're supposed to like put so much gel on it that it's like straight like that. And then take a brush and make sure it's detangled. And then start shingling which is just separating each curl. I'm just gonna separate and then like twirl around my finger like one time. That's one section. It didn't take that long. But that's also because that's a tiny section. Section on camera and then I will speed through the rest of this process. I'm adding a little moisturizer to this one because this one does not feel as moisturized as my previous section. Oh, this is a wet brush I'm using, by the way.
this is the only, I only have these, this like left. I've done everything but this section. So I'll be back once I finish everything because it's taking forever. Alright, so I just finished shingling. It took me about, I started at three, it's five basically. So it took me about two hours to shingle, which is such a long time. But uh, I think it was worth it because my definition is really, 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 really popping. Um, my curls are popping. So I'm about to like dry my hair pretty much, stretch it and everything. And I will be back to show you the dry results. This is the wet results. And I'll be back to show you the dry, dry results. So hey guys, so I finished my wash and go. This is the best wash and go yet, y'all, that I've done. Like, I haven't even done a good, I haven't done a wash and go this good in years, I feel like, for real. So, I think I'm going to go back to the shingling method, even though it did take me two hours to complete the whole, like, shingling process. Um, and then it took me another, like, 30 minutes to, like, dry it and all that stuff. So, even though it took that long, I think I'm just going to continue with it stick with it because it came out so good um it's smoothy and it's actually really shiny and you know defined so um yeah if you enjoyed watching this video please give me a thumbs up make sure to leave a nice comment and um like and subscribe and thank you so much for watching